If you thought the sparkle on your finger was the only diamond in your life, then think again, because industrial diamonds are in use all around us. Even the tiles in your toilet were probably cut with a diamond blade. Top quality, naturally occurring diamonds cost thousands of pounds. But this entire dish of synthetically grown diamonds costs around 50 pounds. In fact, the majority of diamonds used in industry are grown synthetically. Man-made diamonds were first created in the early 1950s using high temperatures and high pressure and the basic ingredient, carbon. In fact, given the right conditions, you can make diamond out of any type of carbon, including burnt toast. Once the bread is truly burnt, it's ground down and squeezed into a mold. Then, a special machine takes it to a pressure 60,000 times greater than our atmosphere, at which point the carbon naturally becomes diamond. And what about the results? Well, your other half won't be too impressed if you propose with one, because two bits of burnt toast won't produce a diamond that's visible to the human eye. But you can see them in this photograph with a 10,000 times magnification. Many diamonds are made this way to be used as abrasives. Saw blades and drill bits are coated with them. Several face exfoliants contain diamond, and some eye surgeons use diamond knives. It's in so many things because it's very, very hard. Hardness is measured on what's called the Mohs scale. At the bottom of the scale, we have soft things like talc, midway along materials like steel. But at the top of the scale, the hardest naturally occurring thing known to mankind, diamond. Different types of diamonds are being developed, which could see us using them in a whole new way. They're made with low pressure. Methane and hydrogen are taken to just one hundredth of the pressure of our atmosphere and heated until they're as hot as the surface of the sun. This smashes the molecules apart and eventually produces diamonds. The results are tiny crystals which can be formed into some of the most amazing shapes, long, thin wires and large flat plates that can be highly polished until they're see-through like glass. This disk of synthetic diamond is perfectly transparent and so tough that one spacecraft which travelled to Venus had windows made of it. We've got some ice here and we're going to demonstrate one of the lesser known but very remarkable properties of diamond. Chris, how does it work? Well, basically diamond has a, an incredibly high thermal conductivity. It's five times higher than copper. So what I want you to do is hold that piece of diamond okay. and hold a copper coin here. Yes. Up, and then connect them together onto an ice cube and just tell me which one gets cold quickest. Within seconds, the heat from my hand alone quickly transmits into the diamond disc and cuts the ice like butter. The amazing thing is the diamond edge is in fact blunt. That's amazing. That really is amazing. Diamond can also be doped with the element boron to conduct electricity. The fact it can do this and that it can dissipate heat quickly means it's likely to be used in electrical devices in the future to give us fast speeds with small chips, giving it yet another use in our lives. 